Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Robbie, and I am with a guy that, that many of you probably doesn't need an introduction, but it's Mad Mike Taylor. Uh, Mad Mike's been in the Z community forever, uh, and been involved with ZCon, ZCCA forever. Mike, I want to let you tell us a little bit about ZCon, what it means to you, and any other good stories you got to tell us about ZCon. Well, the nice thing, Robbie, is that uh, I remember when uh, we started ZCCA, and we did it because uh, Hadley Chamberlain, who was the director of marketing for Nissan, came to Phoenix and said at the Phoenix Zcon, Nissan cannot support individual clubs, but we will support a national organization. All right. And that was the beginning of the ZCCA. And I was fortunate enough to hang that until uh, Chris came along. Yep. And Chris has done Chris a, Carl. Chris Carl done a remarkable job for the years, the last decade and a half. Yeah. Um, I'm extremely happy that he took over the range. Yes. And as far as Zcon goes, uh, we've managed to have Zcons in some of the wildest locations around the country. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to give everybody a chance, the Z people, the extended Z family, mm -hmm. to come and join us right. at Zcon. And the way I look at it, it's what I told Katagiri son at Mr. K's uh, public ceremony uh, back in, I guess it was 05. Uh, he asked me what I mean by the extended Z family. Mm -hmm. And I've known Katagiri son 20 years and he never asked me, but it's been on his <laughs> mind, so finally he did it. And I said, well, uh, everybody I've met in the Z community has three common characteristics. Yes, sir. The first is extremely passionate about the car. Right. The of second course. is, no matter what they do for a living, very detailed oriented. Mm -hmm. And the third characteristic, Robbie, is extremely generous and charitable. That's right. So if you come to a Z event and you don't know anybody there, we know you're part of the extended family because mm -hmm. of the car you drive, and we know you have those three characteristics. Mm -hmm. So now, the idea is, okay, let's have a Z kind where we can bring everybody together for a family reunion yep. once a year. And that's a good word. I like that, family reunion. Yeah, and it's a riot because I'm looking at at some of the the younger people here. I knew them when they were yes. toddlers. Yeah. And this being the 34th, imagine you know how many have yeah. grown, uh, gotten married. Uh, it's it's just phenomenal. And to me, uh, I don't feel old till I meet them. <laughs> My mind, my mind acts like I'm 35. My body says, "No, you're not," and my body gets even with me. But yeah. you know, August 17th is uh, I'll be 79. Actually, I'm 79 today. Now that I think of it. What? Yep, that's right. Happy birthday, man! Yes, see that? Yeah. Well, I certainly hope Nissan's going to give me a car for a birthday present. That would be an awesome birthday present. Yeah, I don't know where I put it. I would make room. I'd have trouble driving at home. Yeah. But it's uh, a lot of fun, and the thing I've enjoyed the most is the variety of people yeah. within the Z community. It's phenomenal. And, it is. Uh, any place I've traveled, and I, I do make house calls, uh, anybody I've met has really been unique in their own way mm -hmm. and yet part of the family. So, yep. you know, ZCon's going back to when we first started this. Uh, it was a couple of people in 88 mm -hmm. up here and then came to Dallas in 89. And that was a big mistake because we do everything big in Dallas. Yep. To give you an idea, we had a pre-convention party at my house of 287 people. Ooh. That took a little wow. bit of redoing on the outside. How did like, the wife like that? The big tent. Uh, she thought it was great. Okay, all yeah, right. She said that was really good. And it's only because I was going to divorce her if she didn't do it. So, you know, that made it easy. And she's also a car person, which is cool. That's good. That's she drives good. sports cars. So. Yes. Now, she's short enough where she can see out of a BMW Z3, but not a 350. <laughs> oh, so. okay. But the other car she has is a 69 Datsun. Oh, good enough. So, you know, yeah. the precursor to the Z car. That explains why you kept her so long. Yeah, that's right. Cause she, and like now... I don't want her to hear that. She's sitting home and... She said, get out of the house. You'll be gone for 10 days. Oh, not that we'll mind, will we? <laughs> and she looks down at our one-year-old 
great Pyrenees mm. named Molly who goes, no, but that feeds me pretzels. Uh, so, you know, uh, the poor thing's going through hell right now. Go back to Dallas. But the, the beauty of Zcon is <clears throat> getting everybody together. Different now, it's a lot of work. Believe me, I know myself. And that's what we try to show to some of these people is behind the scenes now. Oh, which is great. Yeah. Because I love to see all of the people who volunteer mm -hmm. to help out. Because I know from personal experience, Robbie, and you know too. Yes. It's a bear to put this together. It absolutely is. And there's a million pieces. Then, like, tonight you throw in Nissan with the new car. Yes. You, the reveal. Looking forward people. to that. That's going to be great. And then I understand that the new car will be with us Friday at the track. Yep. So people will get a chance to actually see the car. Yes. Now, having had that privilege a while back, I can tell you the car is great. Yes, I was also privileged to see it as well. Yeah, so it is awesome. Yeah. I think people are going to go crazy. Yes. And then as far as the future goes, uh, I've started to go through, I have a Z room at home with three six foot high display cabinets right. and a closet full. The next room next door is my office with four five foot high drawers, cabinet drawers, full of Z stuff. Okay. Because I've been doing this since 1979. Yeah. So now I'm starting to figure out, okay, I'm not gonna be here forever. So I want to give the young kids mm -hmm. that are coming in things to remember. Yeah. Like they never met Mr. K, but here's something he signed. Yeah. Right. You know. Yes. And uh I have a surprise for two very young guys who are living beautiful lives. I'm leaving them both cars. Oh, very and nice. The only people that know are their oh, fathers. You're very generous. And, well, no, because they're going to pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not paying the taxes. No, well. that's All the right. CFO on me. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, overall, it's been uh, a real blast. And now to keep the young people involved, I'm ecstatic. Yeah. In fact, if you watch, I'll visit a lot of the old people, but if I see someone I don't know, that, that's fair yeah. prey. Yeah. That, you know, we're going to get them. So, I mean, it works out well, and uh, I appreciate all the work that you do. Thank with, you. With the money end. You yep. Know. Although, well, we've never been audited. i got to stop that, Yeah, I think. we don't want to do that. We just, oh, we don't? Yeah, okay. we just, let's just think everything's going good. Then I'll forget I mentioned this. Yes, <laughs> we're all good. Until the meeting. I don't Bills are paid. <laughs> so... so can you think of anything else you might want to know? The only thing I, I don't want to know, but well, tell us a little bit. I know when you come to a Z-Con, and I've witnessed it and I've been part of it, you will talk to people and pick up on people, and you make notes. Yes. And then, so tell people about that process. Okay. And what, what it ends up at, too. Uh, at the end of the Z-Con, there is a closing banquet. Mm -hmm. And I'm given the, unfortunately, given the microphone uh, with no time on it, but I've tried to cut it down a little bit. But uh, I like people, especially new people mm -hmm. involved, to feel part of the family. Well, the best way to do that that I know is to pull a Don Rickles and, yes. and just blow them away. He sort of roasts people at the closing banquet. That's correct, like your son Cameron. Yes, yeah, like Cameron. He, he, and that's when you know you have arrived when Mad Mike roasts you. So if he does that, it's a good thing. It's a it's a thing of honor. A lot of fun. Well, I've got two already, and it hasn't okay. even started. All right. All right. Uh, one is a young chap. Uh, well, it's not, yeah, it, was, it won't be on before the closing video. So go ahead. No, okay. I met Eric and his wife uh, Melody. Uh, they rang a bell. We sat there, chatted for a long time, and. Then today, I'm outside by my car having a cigarette, and they come out, and I, why aren't you getting on line for the Pikes Peak call? All right. right. And they said, well, we can't because our son is not feeling well. Uh, How old is he? 24. <laughs> <laughs> I think his name is, is Tyrone. i got to double check that. All right. However, what they said was he was giving mama hell because she didn't bring the back pain all the different things that he would need to feel better. He's 24, all right? I'm on your side with that. So when she mentioned TENS unit, I said, guess what? I have a TENS unit in my room. All right. They couldn't believe it. He went to the room, and sure enough, I said, here, give this to him, but 
Be sure he attends the banquet. <laughs> oh, you're going to get him. Because he's going to get got. All right. But the other is a couple I've known for an awfully long time, Chris and Amanda. Chris and Holmes. Lou. Okay. From upstate yes. New York. Yes. They've Our been, motorsports guys. Yeah. Yes. They've been, let's see, they're grandparents twice. Now they're on, they're waiting for three, four, and five to come. Wow. And the problem is I've never seen the marriage license. So they must have been living in sin. And they keep trying to tell me they're good captives because they're having a lot of kids. They're not having the kids. The kids are. Oh, well, yeah. So stand up, Chris. Take a bow. The, the grandkids <laughs> are the best kind. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I mean, it, it, it gets to be a riot. And can I help you? Come on Come around. Come on. Go right ahead. Yeah. You want to sit on my lap? That, that's Mad Mike we know and love. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot of fun. In fact, uh, I would say by the time Zcon is over, there's like half the women that know my room number. <laughs> now, granted, they've all been invited, but I stay up all night. That's why I look so haggard. <laughs> Nothing happens. I'm sitting drinking scotch. All of a sudden, it's time for breakfast, and there's no knock on the door. But okay. you, you got to admit, I am the kind that doesn't give in. <laughs> I've only been doing this for 34 conventions. 34. 33 to be exact, because I missed the first one. Oh, all right. The owner I did not of, know that. Yeah, the owner of our company uh, passed away at that time, so naturally ah, I couldn't run up to, you know, to the convention. Yeah. But uh, it's, uh, it's great fun, and I, I really recommend this to anybody with a Z car. Absolutely. And if you don't have a Z, come on up and you will join what's going on and say, you know, this car has something. Yeah. And what I attribute the whole thing to is Mr. K Spirit. Yep. All right. That's what I believe. Cool. Thank you, man, Mike. Take care, guys. Appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.